What's up, YouTube? Thanks for tuning back into the channel. And today I wanted to talk about the Engine Hawk Predator smokescreen. I bought this jacket about a couple of weeks ago during their winter sale. Been riding with it for a couple of months now. And I wanted to just kind of go over my general thoughts and impressions, go through, you know, a few of the features, things that I liked and didn't like about the jacket. And in the end, kind of think about, you know, whether this jacket is worth the price tag of $430. That doesn't even include shipping. Now, if you don't know, Engine Hawk and Rurock are the same company. Rurock is known for making their Atlas helmet helmets, which there's a little bit of drama behind uh, the Rurock Atlas helmets because they have a lot of hype behind the helmets, but they sort of lack a little bit of the quality. So I was a little bit hesitant when I bought the Predator Smokescreen hoodie. I know that Rurock doesn't have the best reputation for quality. I wanted to see if Engine Hawk was a little bit of the same in terms of quality. So long story short, I'm happy to say that I'm pretty happy with the jacket, but I'll go through a little bit more in detail of why. So let's get right into it. I've been using this jacket for the last two months and it is winter, so I don't have much experience riding in warmer weather. So I'll preface it by saying that. I'm also not going to go over all of the specs and features. You know, they're uh, they're available for you on the Engine Hawk website, should you choose to find out for yourself. But I will touch on a few of the features uh, while I do this review. So let's talk about styling and the fit. I found that the Engine Hawk Predator smokescreen uh, fit true to size for me. I normally wear a medium in jackets. I go with a large if I want to go with a more baggier look and uh, have a little bit more room to lay underneath. With this hoodie, I wanted to try to go for a little bit more of a tailor look, slim fit. I didn't think it would look good on me, particularly if it's oversized. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the way that this jacket fits on me. I think it looks pretty good. I think that if I sized up in this jacket, I would have looked a little bit too baggy, a little sloppy. So I'm actually really happy that I went with the size medium. If I wanted to, I know that I can also remove the padding for a little bit more comfort a little bit more room but that would also compromise the protection which i'm not sure if i want to do quite yet so again this fits pretty snug in a size medium for me i'm about 180 185 pounds 5 8 and i have kind of like a round build dad bod build if you will so with the way that this jacket fits on me i find that uh, a little bit of light layering is possible it, it'll be a little tight but the way that this jacket fits i think i'd rather stick generally with a base layer. So meaning like a t-shirt or maybe a long sleeve t-shirt. Let's go over styling a little bit. I'm the type of person that generally gravitates towards hoodies anyway. So keep that in mind. I, I really like hoodies and that's part of the reason why I bought the Predator. During the fall and winter months, you know, I'm usually in a hoodie or a flannel. That's kind of my go-to staple. So this jacket is really right up my alley. So I realized that I'm a little bit biased in that sense. And even though the styling may be somewhat um, subjective, I think that Engine Hawk really nailed the look that they wanted to accomplish with this jacket. It looks aggressive with these leather quilted accents on the shoulders and on the lower back. I think that EH did a really nice job finding a good balance of aggressive yet understated with minimal branding. So if you want a hoodie that can make a statement without being overly obnoxiously loud, I think this jacket really fits the bill. The Predator smokescreen may not be your style. I get it. It's not for everyone. But for me, I, I really do like the look of this. So let's talk a little bit about the jacket, what I like, what I don't like. If you put the price aside for a minute, I, there's a lot to like about this jacket. The first one being comfort. So if you're going for a hoodie uh, versus, say, a traditional leather jacket, you're probably thinking about comfort as top of mind or you have comfort as a general priority. I find that being in this jacket is really comfortable both on and off the bike. There's a little bit of stretch to the fabric for any riding position, whether you're on a cruiser or a metric bike, and they have a raglan sleeve design for action and freedom of movement. And I really found that to be true, whether I was on my Grom or whether I was on my Harley, I find that the jacket was able to kind of fit both styles. To add to the comfort, there's additional features like side zips, zips near the forearms. You can customize the fit a little bit to your liking to make it more comfortable for you. I think the added zippers really allow for climate control, you know, inside the jacket to be able to add a little bit more to the comfort. I also really like that the jacket doesn't look overly bulky. Although I wouldn't really wear this jacket out on a night on the town, I don't think that I would look all that out of place if I were to wear it out either. Of course, any jacket that has armor is going to add some bulk, so I, I realize that. But overall, this really looks like a nice weatherproof hoodie that you might find say at an outdoor sporting store. I also really like the leather accents and the reinforcements on the shoulders and the lower back, like I mentioned. It's quilted, it looks great. You know, there's a lot of attention to detail there. Not only does it add a little bit more protection, it gives this hoodie a very distinct, unique style. To me, everything looks like it was uh, executed really well from design, 
to the little details like the, the magnetic hoodie on the back. I think Engine Hawk really did a solid job on this hoodie. I also like the fact that it provides a good amount of protection from the winter elements. So I tested this jacket out in temperatures right around 35 degrees. I was able to manage about 40 minutes of riding on the bike with this hoodie without getting too cold. And I just had like a, a long sleeve t-shirt underneath. If you layer properly with this jacket, I'd imagine you can expect much better results. I don't know about warmer weather because it's February right now and I just haven't had a chance to ride in warmer weather. So uh, TBD on how this jacket performs in say spring and dare I say maybe even summer. All in all, I'm really impressed with the quality of this product. I already feel like this is going to be my go-to jacket during the colder weather. It does include some armor. It's also abrasion resistant. You get the peace of mind knowing that you're getting a really good quality protective gear while still being comfortable and looking stylish. So I think Engine Hawk overall did a really good job of kind of like striking a very nice balance of everything that you might want in a jacket. Let's get to the things that I didn't quite like about this jacket. Um, because it's a half zip, taking the jacket on and off is extremely awkward. Had a lot of trouble putting the jacket on and off, especially because I'm going for a more of a like a tailored slim fit look. And because of the way that you have to put this jacket on, I find that the armor will move around a little bit which isn't a huge deal, but I thought I'd just point that out there. Also, the thing that I like the least about this jacket is the price, you know, it's $430. Plus you have to pay for the shipping if you live in the US. Um, that's close to $500 territory. Uh, no matter which way you slice it, I think that's a lot of money for just about anybody. Although you will be able to find them discounted from time to time. So for example, Black Friday or during the holidays, they'll have some sales. And that's when I picked it up. I believe I paid about $289. And for that price, I thought it was definitely worth a try. So I kind of laid it all out, styling, fit, dislikes, likes about the jacket. I also wanted to try to find a jacket that was, you know, in the same price range because it's hard to say whether or not this jacket is worth the price without really looking at the competition. There's one hoodie that I've, I found that I think could be comparable, the Revit Cedar Riding Hoodie. This Revit Cedar Riding Hoodie is $419. So let's see what you get with this hoodie versus the Engine Hawk hoodie. So the Revit Cedar is a hooded pullover riding jacket without the zipper. The fabric of the Cedar hoodie is Cordura ripstop. The full stretch properties of the Cordura chassis makes it as easy to wear as it is road ready. Um, so very flexible, low profile. They also do include C Smart CE Armor. So they, they both have CE Armor uh, on the elbows and the shoulders, whereas the Engine Hog Predator also did come with the back armor. So that's kind of a nice little add on. You know, they both have a decent level of protection, same sort of protection. You get uh, abrasion resistance. You, get, you have Cordura on this Rabbit Cedar Riding Hoodie. You have armor. I will say that having Cordura is a nice, nice touch. I think Cordura is something, is a name that everybody recognizes. Very protective, um, very high quality. If you look closely at the Rabbit Riding Hoodie, they also have some sort of like, I wouldn't say armor, but it has a little bit of a patch on the shoulder kind of has the same look this is doesn't have the zipper on the front nor does it have any pockets in the front doesn't look like it has any side zippers um, but it does have a really nice streamlined very sleek look I would say if you're comparing between like the rabbit cedar riding hoodie versus you know engine hawk it really depends on which way you want to go they both seem to be around the same price. I would say Engine Hawk has a few more features in, in terms of like zippers and things like that. I've never tried the Revit Cedar Riding Hoodie, but I'm gonna assume that it's high quality, uh, just knowing the Revit brand, but it really is going to depend on the style that you wanna go for. You can choose which one works better for you, but overall in terms of like price and the feature sets, I think they're kind of comparable, especially if you can get the Predator, you know, the smoke screen or the Sniper or the just the standard Predator, I would say, definitely go for it. And if you can splurge for their armor, their upgraded armor, which is supposed to be even more flexible, I think that would make the um, make the hoodie just that much better. So with that said, that is my overview of the Predator from Engine Hawk. I definitely enjoy it just overall price aside. I think this is going to be the jacket that I wear primarily. And then I have a couple of other leather jackets that I'll you know, toss in there if, if the weather gets super cold. But for the most part, I think the Predator does a really good job and I like the look, I like the styling. It's comfortable, what more can you ask for? All right, thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna bounce out of here. I hope you all found this video informative. Thank you for watching and until next time, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.